Now you've all heard foolish questions, and you no doubt wonder why. You know, a person can ask a foolish question, then expect a sensible reply. Like when you bring your girl some candy, say, just after tea. You know, the first thing she's going to do is wrinkle up her nose, and she'll ask, is that for me? Foolish questions. Why, you may as well reply. No, this is for your mom and pa, or I bought that for the guys. I just wanted you to see it. Now I'm going to take it away. Foolish questions. You know, you hear them every day. This is actually an audience participation tune, and what I'd like you to do is when we get to the question, I want you folks to ask it if that's all right. Now, suppose the elevator person should forget to close the door, and you walk in and you tumble down, oh, say, 47 floors, and when you reach the bottom, and you're lying there inert, some fool will stick his head down the elevator shaft and holler. <laughs> Foolish questions. Your dying words are, no, I was just in an awful hurry. And that elevator's too darn slow. Usually it saves a lot of time, you know, coming down this way. Foolish questions. You know, you hear them every day. And then there's that person who will meet you on your way. And he'll ask you why you're all dressed up and then they'll listen while you say that you've just been to the funeral of your dear old Uncle Ned. And as you're wringing out your handkerchief, he'll ask. <laughs> Foolish questions. You hang your head and moan. No, he thought he'd have the funeral now and then die later on. Ned is really quite original. I think he wants it that way. You hear him every day. The last verse is a little hard to guess at, so I'll give you a clue. It's got the word reading in it. Now I was riding on a bus. It was a cold and breezy day. So I sat right down on the newspaper, you know, to kind of keep the cold away. Well, this guy, he sees the paper on which I just barely sat. And he leans right over and he asks me, say, Are you Foolish question. So to him I spoke. Well, as a matter of fact, I am, I said, but he took that for a joke. So I got up and turned the page and sat back down again. <laughs> Foolish questions. You know, you hear them now, and then.